Hello and welcome to Pro Tip Game Developer. We're going to be going over how to bring in the Paragon characters into the base third person template available in Unreal Engine. We're going to be using version 419. I'm going to show you how to set this up where you're able to bring it into any project that you're working on. The results are, are pretty awesome. These guys are AAA quality characters. Pair these with some of the marketplace content and you have yourself something pretty amazing to start out with. Let's get to it. Okay, we're going to start off with having version 419 of the engine installed. These characters are only compatible with version 419. Unreal comes stock with templates to let you start any project that you think of. So we're going to start with a third person template and rename it Phase Test. This project comes equipped with skeletal meshes and anim blueprints that will make it very compatible with the characters we're about to mess with. So as you can see, we have the mannequin, which is the default character for the third person template. We're going to go ahead and add phase to the new project that we just started. We've added to the project and there it is. So we're going to navigate to her skeletal mesh go check out the mesh real quick. So that's, that's her geo with all the materials assigned and this, this is her skeleton. Alright, let's close that down. The magic to all this is making sure that they are both working off the same rig. We have Faze and the mannequin character that both need to work off the same rig. So let's go ahead and make sure that they're both working off of the humanoid rig over here in the select rig category. All right, so what this basically says is that each bone has the same hierarchy and name set going across both skeletons. Pretty essential for retargeting purposes. What we're gonna do is set up the base pose so the retarget doesn't have to do too much work. Looks like there's just a, a little bit of work here to do with the arms. So let's just rotate the arms, make sure angle snap is on while we're moving it. Anything we can do to help out the retarget process is, is definitely ideal. That's looking pretty close. Let's turn off this bone view so we don't have that showing the whole time. Now we're ready to retarget everything. So we want to navigate to the mannequin's anim blueprint. As you can see in the retargeter, the face skeleton now shows up because they're both using the same rig. Let's go ahead and create a new folder because we're about to make a whole bunch of anims right now. And the 
charger. Let's change the folder where all the anims are going to go. And hit retarget. There we go. All right, now we're going to edit some of the bones and the properties. Let's go to the spine and choose recursive. Let's do the same for the left and right thigh. For the clavicle bone, we want the animation to drive some of this retargeting. Looks good. Let's go ahead and save everything too. Alright, let's select the mannequin that's out in the world and let's edit this guy by right clicking on him. over to where she lives. Drag the skeletal mesh. Boom. All right, almost there. Let's assign the brand new anim blueprint that we just retargeted as her anim blueprint. completely retargeted onto the mannequin skeleton with the mannequin's animations. Now, the animations look like she's running away in a Scooby-Doo scene, so let's fix that. She's got much better animations that, that come with her. Her run animation is based off of a 1D blend space, which basically means that she's going from an idle to a run. So let's go ahead and edit that. Let's click on this one node and select her idle animation. As you can see, she has her idle animation. Let's replace her run animation. And her run animation starts with jog underscore FWD for four. There it is. All right, so we have a transition from idle to run. I want to delete this node, but I would suggest saving on this section just because I've had one crash already. As you can tell, there's kind of a, a slight bug where she's playing her idle animation at 2x speed, maybe 3x speed, but this is, it's just a visual bug. It's not, it's not really what's happening. There we go. Phase is now running around with her animations in the third person template. Pretty painless, pretty awesome to see. Thank you for watching. If there's any suggestions on things I could do to speed up the process or, or comments, just leave them down below and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.